What we are doing is trying to figure out what's the major issues for clothing that firefighters currently wearing. The weight of the firefighter gears, it's over 50 pounds in time when you wear entire sets of it. When they move in a, some severe environment, it's kind of difficult and also they are sweating very quickly. And when they move, you know, those kind of things are the major issues. And they are looking for, is there any way to have more light fabric and light material to compensate? So we simulate some of the positions inside of the scanner so we can actually look at the 3D models of the people who wear the firefighter gears and also without the gears. Actually mapping the two scanned image, the with and without the gear, to see the ease between the human skin and also the firefighter gear. So how much stress and some of the movement and actions they have. And when we, Jessica Barker and myself, call to the firefighter station in Ames, and they are very excited about, they are very willing to commit in this project. Well, I believe that any time you can have your gear fit better or your gear have a research project that actually makes you work easier instead of, you know, work smarter, not harder type of thing. And you can maybe go in there and with a different attitude that you're not going to be fatigued as fast. And if they do find something that they can do to make it better, then that'd be great for us. I would like it to be less bulky, maybe a little bit um, less weight, but we still want the protection from the heat as well. Maybe if it can actually release some of the heat instead of keep all our body heat in, that'd be pretty good too. When you get inside the fire, when actually, when you feel the heat, you can definitely tell your you're breathing faster, your heart beats breathing harder. So, I mean, your, your heart is actually beating harder, um, faster. I can simulate uh, what's the problem in 3D dimensional lab and the 3D virtual environment, but it's not reality, actually, you know. Always we need to look at what's going on with the relationship with the human body and physical impact and also the clothing. I'm so glad and the people, professors and Rick and Warren Frankie at Kinesiology are willing to, you know, do the collaborative research with us. My role will really be to evaluate uh, to what extent that gear that they currently use holds them back, weighs them down, increases their energy expenditure and reduces their endurance. They have a real high physical workload that they have to sustain for as long as possible. In addition to that, they have a real great need for protection against the environment because it's a real hot environment. They've got to have full functional abilities, flexibility, and be able to perform their tasks while at the same time protect them from the extreme environment. So it's a real challenge, I think, to design something that's optimal for what they have to do. The only picture I have in my head right now is the laser racer from our work with the swimsuit, but I can't imagine firefighters wanting to run around in that kind of a thing. I'm visioning anything from a something spacesuit that's maybe a little bit less, maybe changing the attire completely to it's not going to change very much to maybe just a little bit of changes here and there. I want really wanted to continue on those types of research under the, some collaborative research and to fit in the mission of College of Human Science and really, really beneficial not only for our end in research side, it's really beneficial for the firefighters also and also some other people who's working in the severe environment for their quality of life and their daily life. That's a really exciting aspect because any time that you can do something that will improve uh, how people live and survive and uh, make them safer and that sort of thing, uh, that's a very worthwhile application of our knowledge in our field. And so I'm real proud to be involved in that kind of an effort. I'm proud that I'm going to be a part of an Iowa State project that actually will hopefully produce something that it's going to help out people, firefighters across the country and all over the world.